Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm Cameron Walsh for your note for Jay. We are here at Spa Figure Champs in Belgium, just down the road from Zolder. I don't know if it's down the road. I don't know the geography. So, anyways, we are here at Circuit Spa Figure Champs. Uh, it is the strength of field race for the week three season 2014 season one. I don't know why I said season twice there because I did. Uh, Gernot Fritsche in the Essex Lotus with a 205.7. Andrea Ventura just behind with Paul Mills, Sam Doby, and Matt Kowalski I think is worst qualifying of the season yet in the strength of field in uh, sixth, I believe it was. You'll notice me in 31st with the slowest time. Uh, my excuse is I didn't have a setup. I actually downloaded setup 10 minutes before the race, which might be bad to say. But uh, anyways, we are on the grid having to go back behind the bus stop. That's how many cars we have. 40, 4, 0. As you'll see, the mash of colors. And also note, giant tail spines. Look at how many tails are sliding around. It is going to be massive tail slide here at 65 degrees. Really cold tires. Look at the Lotus. Look at the tail slide from Gernot. And he's the expert here. A uh, couple of cars bumping behind each other on the right side. As uh, we now have Randy Hashi now uh, <laughs> getting involved in an accident we will be looking at much later. Uh, you'll see the helicopter view stop and go traffic behind. Uh, there were actually three separate incidents made by the tailspin. Just uh, too much pressure applied too quickly. Uh, these older cars really love putting as much as they can through those rear tires as possible as we will head into uh, one of the uh, pretty much the first time going through the twisty bits. This is lap one. We have a, already a four car battle. Uh, really is they're all trying to get positions here in taking advantage of the uh, slow uh, cold tires just trying to see uh, it's a battle of wits and a battle of will uh, whoever can get that power down who wants to risk it who wants to make the gains and who doesn't want to lose as you see Paul Mills sliding out to the left that's uh, he's in the candy team Euro uh, team UK as this is Andrea Ventura already a gap behind Gernot Fritsche he had a new no defending so Ventura had to defend against Mills a little bit as we'll go into the start on John G Hills Ligier as uh, even he'll try uh, getting the power down as easily as he can, having to counter steer a bit. As you can see, a car blinked right in front of another one, got tapped and started a, the second accident, the first accident up front between the leader cars. Out is Tapani Linealato, as uh, I don't know who that was, that was a Reynolds flying through the air, as a uh, car corrects, uh, overcorrects from uh, somebody's correcting their own tailspin, causing the first turn pile up. As uh, you'll see in the second pack, there's another pileup, and then in the third pack, another pileup, which wasn't helped by a lot of cars uh, flooring it through and acting as if this was Days of Thunder. Uh, and thankfully, though, some people got on the radio, halted the traffic, and uh, there was really no further incident past that one lap. I believe there were 10 or 11 retirements from that, one-fourth of the field. Uh, so that is quite bad, but uh, afterwards, we pretty much just determined but uh, itchy trigger fingers right at the start there was more or less the cause and uh, uh, just being so close to those cars is even Grenot for Jay, uh, was tail sliding as we'll go to the Ultimar, the Ford powered Ultimar as uh, you can see some damage there already uh, much like Zolder there are a couple places here where you could really get hurt really cold tires you don't want to go too, wee, uh, too wide up Eau Rouge just yet even he has a, an off uh, you will get a 1x. Quite a few people, I think one or two individuals got disqualified, but uh, it was not that big of an incident. As I'll now go too wide into the bus stop. This is where you want to go too wide. This is the bus stop here. Uh, the bus stop chicane, I believe it is called. If it's not called that, it's called that now. Uh, you can check the website. As uh, we'll go up Eau Rouge as we're following the shadow car of Cameron Walsh following, uh, I believe that is uh, Jesus Pasillas. Uh, Pasillas. I don't know if it's Jesus or Jesus from the instant team, uh, so I apologize. I'm not good with names. I've already had four or five people uh, message me about <laughs> bad name calling as uh, Walsh will go on the inside uh, through this little twisty bit. Uh, I don't know what this is called, but like Holmes or something like that, some French word. I don't know where that is. I don't know where anything is on the track. It's the squiggly bit with the squiggly bits. As uh, they'll go take too wide uh, through this little bit, a lot of space given between uh, these two competitors not wanting to risk it so early in the race, but not wanting to give up that valuable position as uh, they'll go too wide through the giant left-hander as uh, they'll head to the second gear uh, S squiggly bit. 
as uh, just we'll get ahead at Walsh. We'll uh, try a Mansell dummy, just try to get him uh, a little unsettled. It doesn't work. Later in the lap, though, uh, just we'll go wide. Walsh will have a tailspin. He'll save it. He'll be ahead. Uh, will he defend it going into the bus stop? Doesn't have to. They're both uh, knowing that later on uh, they will have another chance. Uh, he's just unable to get down on the power as uh, gives a little bit of a gap. Adnan uh, just ahead in the yellow ATS uh, as uh, will have a uh, the tail will kick out on him. He'll recover. No problems there. No traffic really behind as uh, we'll now go with uh, Ardo Ahamaki when the Jordan BRM and Havard in the red Theodore car, uh, at least I believe it is, as uh, the Jordan BRM on the inside will give the position up, doesn't want to risk it here, this is lap three or four, uh, early in the race still, as uh, we'll go to lap eight, yes, lap eight, Sergio Paramo in Barry West, the material team at UK, lots of camera time for Barry this season, as uh, Sergio will go wide there, uh, these two had been fighting all race, we will see them all race long, they were matching lap for lap the Fittipaldi Skull team uh, going against the UK team as we'll go on board with Cam Walsh in the shadow car. Adnan Dizaverdic in the ATS car. Adnan will, or Adnan will lock up the fronts and uh, they'll make contact. No damage there uh, as Walsh will decide to end his race by hitting this stupid tire barrier that somebody put there. The tire barrier was moved uh, by a forklift actually which you didn't see uh, it was placed there just as I was going up there, uh, and I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happened. As a dangerous moment here, uh, Hano spins in front of Gernot Fritsche, zooming in. Ooh, oh, you can't get any closer than that. The leader almost taken out by a spinning car. No problem there. Uh, you really can't do anything uh, if you are spinning. You do kind of want to go off the track. I can't blame him for this, but uh, quick reaction time by the Essex Lodix or by the pilot, Granot for Jay, as uh, he will have completely lost his gap to Andrea Ventura. Now, I believe this is the first time all season somebody is great nipping the heels. Uh, but I believe Matt Poleski had a while at Zolder, but uh, this is the closest I believe anyone's gotten. Five laps have gone by now. Lap 14 out of 22. Andrea with a tailspin coming out of the bus stop chicane as uh, very hard to get under the power there. All races will go down into the back of the pack. Oh, not even back of the pack. This is for position third, fourth, and fifth as uh, they go around adding in here as uh, Matt Poleski is trying to get around Paul Mills as... Uh, He'll just weave back and forth. That's Sam Doby in the waiting in the wings, seeing what happens. He's trying to make his own position. Sam may be going on the outside of the bus stop. No, he will back off wisely as uh, they will all follow up here. Uh, look at the counter steer by Mills. As uh, you really have to be careful. Ginger, easy on the throttle. Nice on the throttle, gentlemen, as they do. These guys are the fastest of the fast here. Uh, positions three, four, and five behind Grenoble and Andrea. Uh, as they're trying to get the power down once again. Uh, it's kind of a hard spot to get the power down, at least in the, that was, uh, the bus stop chicane in that turn. As uh, they go up Eau Rouge, single file. Whoever can get down the power in the middle of Eau Rouge really has the advantage going down the straight pole. Sam Doby have the advantage in the Williams car over the Viceroy of Matt Poleski as they come down into the turn. Or will it be Poleski? He will go on the outside of Paul Mills, relating into the turn. Will he make the turn? as Mills breaks just enough for Poleski to cut right across him as uh, Mills will have the chance to counter. He will not stick his nose there as uh, Poleski defends well, taking his line, uh, closing the door as now Mills will defend from Stoby and attack at the same time. He's, uh, uh, he, Mills has been in the traffic quite a bit uh, from Zolder to Spa now. He has been in the battles uh, as we will go to West and Paramo again as uh, the Fittipaldi Skull and the Team UK Team uh, Candy, the uh, fight of the chewing tobacco and I believe candy, uh, which are both bad for your teeth, actually, now that I think about it, the uh, yellow of the Texans and the blue of the British people as they fight for both country and I believe that's like position 
six or seven. I don't remember where they're fighting for. Maybe it was 12th. I don't remember. Um, as Pickford uh, goes around, uh, Pickford, who's got heavily damaged, actually, in the beginning there, he punted the car over the top of his roof. I'm surprised he's still going straight. Uh, as uh, they will both go around a more severely injured car, as Mills and Doby now fighting for fourth and fifth, with Poweski now pulling away. As uh, Doby will get the power down before Mills. Uh, going into Air Rouge, he will get ahead. Will Mills have the counter, though, as they go up uh, Air Rouge? I don't know if that's what you call it. I call it Air Rouge. Uh, I'm not very good. I am an American, so I don't know how to pronounce anything foreign at all. Uh, so, again, message box. As they make contact going into the turn, they do not damage each other's cars. Uh, as the Williams will yield to the Terrell, as uh, they throw the cars around, the gas is burning off now. Lap 20 out of 22, three laps later now. Now it's lap 20 to Williams, still trying to get around the Terrell team as he'll go around the lap car and around Mills at the same time. At the, at the same time, Mills will counter going in, but will he take the inside? No. Doby does not leave the door open as they will go up the bus stop, getting onto the power now. As uh, lap 22, Gernot Fritsche, he gets the victory and the fastest lap with a 2.06.4. Uh, as he will clinch it here at Spa Franco Champs. Uh, but the racing is not over. We will continue the coverage as Sam Doby and Paul Mills now. Mills going on the inside. No, he overcooks it going into the turn. They do not make contact. He almost clips that uh, blue car there, but he does not as uh, that gets sorted out. Mills will finish uh, in fourth as uh, Doby takes... Uh, no, he'll finish in fifth. Doby takes uh, fourth, as now we'll go to the fight that has been going on all race long. West will defend against Paramo for position 11. He will finish in that position. Okay, looking at the race results. What a race. I haven't been able to breathe this entire time. Literally 12 minutes I have not taken one breath. As the Lotus of Grenot Fritsche in 47 minutes flat will get the victory. Andrea Ventura will stay six seconds behind. Matt Poleski once again on the podium. Good running uh, by Poleski this year in the Viceroy as uh, Doby and Mills also hotly in contention. They've been racing each other all season. The shadow car of Cam Walsh finishing in 25th. What a bummer. Uh, as I took myself. Totally, uh, totally moved that, that tire barrier right in front of me. As we look at the standings, Gernot Fritsche in the lead with 494 points, about uh, 10 or 15 more than the second place person whom I didn't see. I'm in 32nd, which is fantastic. It's the highest I've ever been, except for last week. As uh, we'll go down all the way through as uh, we will now look at the team standings, the Ligier and the Candy Team Terrell still locking horns, just 10 points-ish separate them as, uh, uh, you know what, upon the retrospect, I don't think the school for the Poly Team Mares and Texans this year. I was lying. This entire time, I have lied to you. Uh, anyways, this is Cameron Walsh for Gernot Fritsche, who has done an amazing job on the video production. Uh, I've done the talky bits. I already lost my voice before I started the race, so now I've lost it even more. We will see you later, and you all take care.